Hey there, econ students. Welcome to the Mr. Sin channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about the trade-offs and opportunity costs associated with the different types of markets. Now before we get started, it's important that you've watched my videos on a traditional economy, a command economy, a market economy, and a mixed economy. You'll need to understand those economies if this video is going to make any sense. So if you haven't seen that yet, click the links in the description below and view those and then come back to this one. Now one of the last times we talked about trade-offs and opportunity costs was with the fundamental economic problem. If you don't know what I'm talking about, click the card on the top right and you can view that video and then come back. But trade-offs and opportunity costs, they happen because we have scarcity. We have to make decisions. And our opportunity cost is what we give up. And each of our different types of economies give something up. So we're going to start with a market economy. A market economy, there's a lot of benefits. Now one of the trade-offs that people make who are a part of a market economy is they give up security. They give up this sense of, I know what I'm going to do that knowing of what could be, that protection. And in return then what they get is economic freedom and individual freedom. They get to pursue what they want to do. And so that's a pro and con. The opportunity cost there is the security that you're giving up, but the benefit is you get to have kind of the control to your life. You get to decide what you want to do. A command economy gives up their individual freedom. That's the opportunity cost. In return though, you get your basic needs covered, most of the time for little or no cost. And you also get protection, you have a sense of security. So while for a command economy the opportunity cost is your individual freedom and decision making, you get a lot as well. Now a traditional economy, you get security and a sense of stability and you get a stress-free life. On the other hand though, the opportunity cost is you don't get to live in a society that is going to continuously develop. You're not going to have as high of a standard of living and you are also going to see stagnation occur. For a market economy, you give up some individual freedoms, but in return you do still get to keep a lot of your individual freedoms. And you also get a little bit more security than is provided with a market economy. Not as much as a command or a traditional, but you still get some. And so that's why, again, this one's the most popular economy in the world today, at least for the developed world. So these are just a couple examples of opportunity costs and trade-offs that occur for each of the different economic systems. Hopefully this video helps you better understand exactly what's going on with the different economies, what trade-offs occur with each different economy, and also what the opportunity cost is. There's many more that we could go into, but this video is just to provide you a snapshot of some of the things that are occurring in each of these different economies. I'm Mr. Sin. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you online.